out, guys. Look over there. There is a puffer fish. Their spiky body makes it difficult for predators to eat them. When threatened, pufferfish can inflate themselves, making it harder for predators to swallow them. Many species of pufferfish produce toxins that can be harmful to their predators. These toxins are primarily found in the liver, skin, and ovaries of pufferfish. This is Gernard fish. Gurnard fish spend a lot of time exploring the bottom of the sea because they cannot swim very far up and they can only move forward and backward, but they have movements fast enough to cut through the water and glide so that it looks like they are flying. But they are unable to rotate properly because their wings are not flexible enough to do this. This is Ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. This is a hermit crab. Each of a hermit crab's gills consists of several small holes called lamellae, where oxygen from the water enters the crab's bloodstream, while carbon dioxide is expelled from the body through a process called diffusion. These gills enable hermit crabs to live underwater and meet their oxygen needs. There is lobster. Lobsters have a hard exoskeleton, or shell, that does not grow with them. To grow, they undergo a process called molting, where they shed their old shell and form a new, larger shell. During the skin changing process, lobsters are at their most vulnerable phase to attack by predators. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus was an omnivore. He will happily eat anything he can eat, such as fish, sharks, cephalopods, birds or even other members of the Mosasaurus reptile family. This creature uses most of its time to hunt prey. This is Dolphin. Did you know that the dolphin brain is considered to be much more structurally complex than the human brain? That's why dolphins are smart, their ability to recognize themselves in the mirror and communicate with each other makes dolphins known as one of the intelligent mammals on Earth. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted Eagle Rays can be found in the Indo-Pacific region, the West Pacific region, the Indian Ocean and the Southwest Atlantic Ocean. They usually live in shallow waters with coral reefs and a maximum depth of 80 meters. They spend their time swimming freely in open water. They are generally found in warm waters throughout the world. There is an octopus. The largest octopuses in all the oceans are known to have no internal skeleton or shell, this is what makes octopuses have soft bodies and can help them move freely. The only hard part of an octopus's body is its beak. The octopus's beak is located at the bottom where the arms meet. There is a mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. Wow, this is starfish! In several cities, including Beijing, Chinese street vendors sell sushi made from starfish. Some people like starfish but others don't. Some think that it tastes like river crab or sea urchin but there are also those who claim it tastes like nothing at all. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted ray has several interesting characteristics. One of them is its large wing-like body and the striking blue spots on its skin. Additionally, they are known to be friendly creatures and often approach divers or snorkelers without displaying aggressive behavior. 
Blue spotted rays are also famous for their spectacular leaps out of the water. This is blue whale. Blue whales have a long mating period, which is around six to seven months each year. During the mating season, males will compete for females. After copulation occurs, the female will be pregnant for about 10 to 12 months before giving birth to a blue whale calf called a baby whale. There is crab! The presence of claws on crabs is not just to decorate the body, these crab claws play a very important role in hunting. Maybe there are still some people who don't realize it, but crab claws are very strong and large. There was even a study to measure the strength of this animal's claws. This is a crayfish. Coral shrimp have several defense mechanisms to evade predators, such as changing body color, the ability to hide in coral crevices or rocks, and the capability to swim swiftly to escape. Some species also have the ability to quickly wriggle free from a predator's grasp. This is squid. Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. This is Lemon Shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. This is a moray eel. Moray eels are nocturnal animals or what are usually called animals that are always active at night, while during the day moray eels always spend time living in the crevices of coral reefs. Moray eels are included in the carnivorous animal group because they are predators who often hunt marine animals. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. There is a clownfish. Clownfish, or commonly known as Nemo fish, can generally live in aquariums as long as the aquarium environment meets their needs. They require a sufficiently large tank with clean water, stable temperature, and the provision of hiding places. Additionally, they often live in a symbiotic relationship with certain species of sea anemones, which should also be present in their aquarium. This is garfish. Alligators are very calm fish, if you get the chance to see one. They will appear to be floating or submerged in water. However, don't be fooled, this is how they hunt. They won't move until a fish startles them and comes close. The stunned target will suddenly be attacked by an alligator fish which will lunge and grab it with hundreds of sharp teeth. This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Gulper Eel. Male Gulper Eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.